In today's video, I'm gonna try and show you three things. Number one, Loy Cretong, right here in Lumpini Park. Number two, our first visit to a Bangkok art gallery for a very special show opening, and hopefully, we'll meet a very special guest. And number three, dinner. Oh yeah, some food. This is one of those videos that makes me remember why I started this channel in the first place. To offer you fun and informative videos from right here in Thailand. And to be able to offer you fun and informative videos, it means that I have to get off my ass, learn some stuff, and get out here and do fun things that I normally wouldn't be doing if it wasn't for this channel. And meet people I'd never meet if it wasn't for this channel. And on that note, before I bring you back here to explain what's about to happen and what Loy Cretong is, let's rewind to a few hours ago. So we've just left Lumpini Station. Lumpini Park, where I just was, is actually right over there across the street. This is a few hours ago. The rain is finally just stopping. This is just two hours earlier. Oh, that just got struck by lightning. And we're on our way to Bangkok City City Gallery. It's an art gallery here in Bangkok. And yes, you heard that right. There's two cities in the name. I will leave a Google map link uh, to everywhere we go in this video today, as always, so you can find it yourself. And the reason we're going to this particular gallery on this particular night is we've gotten a personal invitation this is the grand opening gala uh, for a new art show that's gonna be running for a couple of months here in Bangkok. I suggest you check it out. Those of you that follow this channel, you may remember a video I did a couple of months ago that was a Bangkok street art tour where I went around and looked at a whole bunch of different graffiti and street art. And the most prominent artist that I featured in that video probably the most prominent Bangkok street artist. His name is Alex Face. Let's go take a closer look. His real name is Pat Cherapol. His work is often deeply political. And so shockingly, uh, after I released that street art video, Alex Face himself reached out to me, found me on Facebook, I think, and said, hey, why don't you come out to this solo show that I'm having, come out to the opening night. And so here we are. We're just outside the Bangkok City City Gallery. We're gonna go in and check out the show. I'll show you what it's like. And who knows, maybe we'll get to meet him. The show is called Monument of Hope. And rather than try and explain what I think it all means, let's go inside and see if we can talk to the artist himself. This is Alex Face. Yes, sir. Yeah, we just met. Just met right now. Um, thanks for having us out. Yeah, please. Thank yeah. you for coming. Yeah. So, so what's the story with this show? What is the uh, what is the exhibit all about? Yeah, I'm thinking about you know like permanent and impermanent thing you know in the, in the situation. Uh huh. Like everyone know what happened in 2020, you know, really hard years, you know, for a lot of people around the world. You know. And you see a lot of flowers, you know, you see all like still life painting. You know, actually the, the, the still life painting, you know, they're talking about, you know, life, not forever. Mm -hmm. You can see the butterfly in the painting, they talk about short life, you know, insect or, you know, the short time yeah. life. And this is made from bronze? Yeah, that's why I make the bronze, because life is short. Yeah. So I can leave something behind me. Oh, nice. When I'm gone, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like what I'm thinking. And normally, you know, like, I have a question all the time about what I'm doing with my painting on the wall. Yeah. You know, when I'm painting on the wall, it's not going to stay longer. I mean, not not gonna stay too long. You yeah, know, they, it's not permanent. It, yeah, they disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you know, someone paint over, or they break the walls, or they 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 can go on by sun and rain. And, yeah, this is the art on the street you're talking about. Yeah, I'm painting on the street. Yeah, that not 
It's not permanent. Not permanent. Yeah, when I went out, the one at Chatter Chat Park, I actually That's zoomed crack, close huh? in, yeah. the bottom's all cracking up and yeah, stuff. That's nature. I think when people, them, they make the monument, they want to tell something, to let people see, and then they, they understand the story. Right. You know, but you can see in COVID time, you know, like, for example, in England, they took all the, the, the monument and throw in the, uh, in the river. Yeah. Because the story changes, you know. And so they want to erase this. Yeah, like, you know. What the monuments were built for. Even you make a no, uh, in monument, they take it down, throw in the water. Yeah. Gone. It's not forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's why, you know, I make the statue, I bronze, you know, to, 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 make, to make them feel the, something really permanent. A little more permanent, yeah. Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. You've done a lot of work. Yes, I am asleep at <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> no sleep. Three in the morning for like four months. <laughs> wow. But I feel really, really fun to, to, to work, you know, like I'm really, you know, into it. Gives you energy. Yeah, I have a good energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Yeah. Well, it's amazing to meet you, man. Like, I, re I really appreciate it. And I'm going to go out and do another video of street art. Everyone out here wanted me to do a second <laughs> video. So if there's one place that I go out and look at next, where should I go? I just did the, the last one in, like, Chinatown area. Oh, in Chinatown? You did one recently? Yeah, just, like, a couple of days ago. Oh, cool. You just go to, they call Sapan Han. Sapan Han? Yeah, Sapan yeah. Han, just, just there. And it's right there. Okay, well, you just heard it here first. Uh, yeah, new, yeah. new work by Alex Face, not just in the gallery, but on the streets. I'll get out there and do that next video for Thank you. you. Thank you. But if you are in Bangkok, definitely come and check out this show. Yeah, show until, like, December 27th. Until December 27th, yeah, like, perfect. The gallery calls on Monday and Tuesday. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I'm just going to look around. There's lots to see here It's uh, and appreciate. So thanks a lot, ma'am. Really Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Awesome to meet Alex and experience all of that. And we're back here now where the video started in Lumpini Park. Lumpini Park is one of the biggest city parks in Bangkok. It's almost like Bangkok Central Park. If you're ever here, it's a great place to come in the morning or in the evening. It's a little hot in the daytime. But today's very special because it's Loy Kratong. And that's where they actually, before we get to celebrating Loy Kratong. That's better done at night. Let's go eat some dinner first. So we're on our way from Lumpini Park and we're crossing the main road. We're over the street. The last time we went from Lumpini Park to this very restaurant we're going to, do you remember who we were with, Haley? Oh yeah. Who? Candice. Yep. <laughs> Candace, Ray, and Stu. We, that was the last yeah. night that we were out before COVID struck. And I'm curious what everyone out there who's watching this video did. Do you remember the very last night you had out when you went out with friends yeah. and you weren't thinking about this? Drop a comment below. We're heading back to that restaurant. It's called Som Tam Dur.
Som Tam Dur is a hip little Thai restaurant that's fun and delicious. They have many varieties of the famous Thai papaya salad called Som Tam, which just happens to be one of Haley's favorites. We also got a variety of beef, fish, and pork dishes, and including some beers, it all came in at 1,800 baht. Not bad for five of us. Now that it's dark outside, let's head back over to Lumpini and I'll tell you all about Loi Kratong. Today is a very special holiday here in Thailand. It's called Loi Kratong. It's all about people creating these amazing little beautiful rafts made of flowers and candles and incense and then releasing them into rivers, lakes, or in this case ponds here at Lumpini Park and it takes place all across the country. What is this holiday all about? Okay, first of all, it falls at the end of the rice harvest season, so it's meant to thank the goddess of water for her supply to help this year's crops. The Thais also believe that this is a great way to release negative feelings, anger, or any grudges you might be holding on to. They often place a fingernail or a lock of hair on the tiny boats and symbolically float these away uh, along with the negative feelings. And Loi Kratong falls on the 12th moon of every lunar calendar. So it's usually in November, but today it happens to coincide with Halloween on October 31st. Hello. Hello. Hello there. So we just want to say to all the Thai people out there who've been so good to our families, over the 26 years we've been coming here, Happy Loi Kratong! Happy Loi Kratong!